Hey everybody, my name is Mason, and this is my friend Hannah. Hello everybody. We are getting ready to go on an African safari. Do you know what a safari is? A safari is an expedition to observe or hunt animals in their natural habitat, especially in East Africa. On this safari, we are going to explore Africa and learn about the different animals that live there. The animals that we'll be learning about are all animals that are featured in the artwork on the African Animals Travel Tykes Kids Travel Tray that your family or friends gave you as a gift. Today's adventures are tomorrow's memories. Well, here we are, East Africa. Okay, now it's time to meet our safari expedition leader, Philip. Hi, Philip. <laughs> Hi, kids. We're going to have an awesome time exploring the lands of Africa and learning about the wild and exotic animals that live there. In order to get a close-up look at the animals and travel from habitat to habitat, we will need a mode of transportation. Mode of transportation just means how we will get about and travel from place to place. A mode of transportation could be a car, a plane, a train, a bicycle, or even just walking. When you hear the phrase mode of transportation, you know that it is talking about whatever method or vehicle you use when traveling to get from one place to the other. For a safari, the best mode of transportation is a safari jeep. And that is just what we'll be using to get around on our African animal safari. Are you ready, kids? Yeah! Then let's all get in the Jeep and get going. Oh boy, Mason, isn't this so exciting? Yeah, it sure is. I can't wait to see some wild animals. Hey, Philip, which animals will we be learning about on this adventure? Mason, on today's adventure, we'll be learning about almost all of the animals featured on the Travel Tykes African Animals Kids Travel Tray. So take a look at your tray, and let's see if we can figure out which animals will be spotted on our journey. Okay, let me see. I recognize the lion, the elephant, and the j j j <laughs> It's called a giraffe, Mason. Yeah, the giraffe. I'm not sure what these other animals are called, though. I know. This one is the zebra, and this one is called a hippie potty moose. <laughs> Close, Hannah. It's a hippopotamus. And those pink animals there, those are special birds called flamingos. Shh, everyone. I've spotted the first animal on our list, the great African elephant. African elephants are the largest animals walking the earth. Their herds wander through 37 countries in Africa. They are easily recognized by their trunk that is used for communication and handling objects, and their large ears allow them to radiate excess heat. They are so big! Yeah, and I like the way they have those long noses. Yes, Mason, we call those long noses an elephant's trunk. An elephant's trunk is actually a long nose used for smelling, breathing, trumpeting, drinking, and also for grabbing things, especially a potential meal. Huh? What was that? It sounds like our next African safari animal is nearby. That was the roar of a lion. Yikes! I've heard that lions can be dangerous. Just stay inside the jeep, Hannah. You'll be safe from the lions. But you're right, lions are known as the king of the jungle due in no small part to their ferocity. African lions have been admired throughout history for symbols of courage and strength. These iconic animals have powerful bodies. In the cat family, they're second in size only to tigers and roars that can be heard from five miles away. Look over there, wow. It's a giraffe. That's right, Hannah, and giraffes are the world's tallest mammals. 
They are uniquely adapted to reach vegetation inaccessible to other plant-eating mammals. I wonder if I'll ever be that tall one day. <laughs> Not likely, Mason. But maybe you can become as fancy as our next African safari animal. These beautiful pink birds are called flamingos. With their pink and crimson plumage, long legs and necks, and strongly hooked bills, flamingos cannot be mistaken for any other type of bird. These beauties have long fascinated people. An accurate cave painting of a flamingo was found in the south of Spain and dates back to 5000 BC. Today, images of flamingos are found in literature, like Alice used them as a croquet mallets in Through the Looking Glass by Lewis Carroll, and immortalized as plastic lawn ornaments. When flying, flamingos flap their wings fairly rapidly and almost continuously, and as with most other flamingo activities, they usually fly together in large flocks. The flamingos follow each other closely, using a variety of formations that help them take advantage of the wind currents. Wow, I like flamingos even more now that I know more about them. That's what makes going on adventures like this safari so fun, Mason. You get to explore and have a good time while you learn new facts about new places. And in the case of a safari, animals. Hey, look, that's a hippopotamus, isn't it? The hippopotamus, also called the hippo, common hippopotamus, or river hippopotamus, is a large, mostly plant-eating, semi-aquatic mammal native to sub-Saharan Africa. After the elephant and rhinoceros, the hippopotamus is the third largest type of land mammal. Now for our final encounter, let's meet the zebra. No animal has a more distinctive coat than the zebra. Each animal's stripe are as unique as fingerprints. No two are exactly alike, although each of the three species has its own general pattern. Why do zebras have stripes at all? Well, scientists aren't sure, but many theories center on their utility as some sort of camouflage. The patterns may make it difficult for predators to identify a single animal from a running herd and distort distance at dawn and dusk. Did you enjoy your African safari today, kids? Yeah! I'm glad you enjoyed the adventure today. Remember, travel is always an adventure. Whether you're going to faraway places like Africa, or even if you're just traveling a short distance like to home or to school, there are always new things to learn on any journey. So keep your eyes open because today's adventures are tomorrow's memories.